Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have discussed blood coagulation and its pathways. In this video, we will be discussing the conditions that cause excessive bleeding in humans. So let's get started. Excessive bleeding can result from a deficiency of any one of the blood clotting factors. Mainly, three types of bleeding tendencies have been studied to the greatest extent, which include the bleeding caused by vitamin K deficiency, hemophilia, and thrombocytopenia. Starting with the first, vitamin K deficiency. It causes decreased levels of prothrombin, factor 7, factor 9, and factor 10. With few exceptions, almost all the blood clotting factors are formed by the liver. Therefore, diseases of liver such as hepatitis, cirrhosis and acute yellow atrophy can sometimes depress the clotting system so greatly that the patient experiences the development of a severe tendency to bleed. Another cause of depressed formation of clotting factors by the liver is vitamin K deficiency. Vitamin K is an essential factor to a liver carboxylase that adds a carboxyl group to glutamic acid residues on five of the important clotting factors prothrombin, factor 7, factor 9, factor 10 and protein C. When the carboxyl group is added to the glutamic acid residues on the immature clotting factors, vitamin K is oxidized as it gets used, it becomes inactive. To bring the vitamin K back to its active form, reducing enzyme is needed. In this case, it is vitamin K epoxide reductase complex 1 or VKORC1. In the absence of active vitamin K, subsequent insufficiency of these coagulation factors in the blood can lead to serious bleeding tendencies. About the synthesis of vitamin K. Vitamin K is continuously synthesized in the intestinal tract by bacteria. So a person can suffer from vitamin K deficiency seldom if there is absence of vitamin K in the diet. However, in persons with gastrointestinal disease, vitamin K deficiency often occurs as a result of poor absorption of fats from the gastrointestinal tract because vitamin K is fat soluble and is ordinarily absorbed into the blood along with the fats. Another most prevalent cause of vitamin K deficiency is failure of liver to secrete the bile into the gastrointestinal tract which occurs either as a result of obstruction of the bile ducts or as a result of any other liver. Lack of bile prevents adequate fat digestion and absorption and therefore depresses vitamin K absorption as well. Hence, the liver disease often causes decreased production of prothrombin and some other clotting factors both. Because of poor vitamin K absorption, and because of the deceased liver cells. As a result, vitamin K is injected into surgical patients who have liver diseases or obstructed bile ducts before the surgical process is being performed. Ordinarily, if vitamin K is given to a deficient patient 4 to 8 hours before the operation and the liver parenchymal cells are at least one half normal in function, sufficient clotting factors will be produced to prevent excessive bleeding during the operation. Now let's move towards hemophilia. Hemophilia is a bleeding disorder that occurs almost exclusively in males. In 85% of the cases, it is caused by an abnormality or deficiency of factor 8. This type of hemophilia is called hemophilia A or classic hemophilia. In other 15% of the patients, the bleeding tendency 
is caused by deficiency of factor 9 both of these factors that is factor 8 and factor 9 are transmitted genetically by way of the female chromosomes therefore a woman will almost never have hemophilia because at least one of her two x chromosomes will have the appropriate genes if one of her x chromosome is deficient she will be a hemophilia carrier transmitting the disease to half of her male offspring and transmitting the carrier state to half of her female offspring the bleeding trait in hemophilia can have various degrees of severity depending on the genetic deficiency bleeding usually does not occur except after trauma but in some patients the degree of trauma required to cause severe and prolonged bleeding may be so mild that it is hardly noticeable about the treatment of hemophilia when a person with classic hemophilia experiences severe prolonged bleeding almost the only therapy that is truly effective is injection of purified factor 8 but the cost of factor 8 is high because it is gathered from human blood and only in extremely small quantities however increasing production and use of recombinant factor 8 is making this treatment available to more patients with classic hemophilia now let's learn about thrombocytopenia it means the presence of very low number of platelets in the circulating blood people with thrombocytopenia have the same tendency to bleed like hemophiliacs except that the bleeding is from very small venules or capillaries rather than from large vessels as in hemophilia ordinarily bleeding occurs when platelet level falls below 50000 per microliter the normal level of platelets is 150000 to 3 lakh per microliter to learn more deeply about thrombocytopenia we have a separate video uploaded the link is in the description so that's all for this video see you all in the next video till then take care stay safe like share and subscribe to the channel thank you